Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Guys, I'm back on Infinite Warfare today, and there was an update for the game today, which released the combat record. So, with this video, I'm going to take a look at my combat record for the first time. I have not looked at it, and I'm going to see what my stats are, how long I've played, what my most used guns are, what my most used rigs are. This is all stuff that was just released, so I don't really know like what my stats have been for like the first three months of the game. I'm not really sure how much playtime I have. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see, considering this is the first Call of Duty game where the combat record hasn't come out on the launch date. So, you know, these stats have been compiling, and I haven't really had a chance to track my progression from day one, uh, you know, all the way through. So since it's February, it's kind of interesting looking at it for the first time. So let's take a look here. If you go into my barracks and over to my records, here it is. I already looked at this, obviously, but I already knew this. I already knew what my uh, my KD and my win-loss was. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. All right, here we go. Okay, this looks a little... Got to get used to this uh, interface here. So right off the bat, uh, my most used gun is the K-Bar 32 with 1,800 kills. That's not super surprising to me. I use that gun a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if that was like my, my most used gun by quite a bit. Um, Synaptic is my most used rig. Ah, man. I'm using the skinny bot. I'm such a such a tryhard, but as you can see, I have almost three days played, um, which is actually kind of surprising. Uh, well, uh, two and a half days played, I guess. Um, I, I'm honestly surprised by that. I thought I would have more time played on this game than that. Um, I guess I haven't been playing that game. I mean, I did take like a month off of not playing this game at all, so I guess that makes sense. I probably had about two days in the first month or so, and that last 11 hours is probably over like the last couple weeks here. It's like kind of started to get back into it a little bit but let's see we got um my global games played 507 games with 409 wins so it's pretty decent um my most kills in a game is 56 keep in mind i only play team deathmatch so i got a 56 kill tdm which is pretty cool my highest kd game is 32 funny enough i actually got that yesterday so i, I i've recently that's a very recent uh, stat line there most kills without dying is 26. I'm pretty sure that's wrong because I've definitely gotten some really long streaks, like 40 plus without dying. But that 26 might be without counting kill streaks, so that might be my highest gun streak, which means I haven't gotten a nuclear in this game yet, which is pretty surprising to me because I could have sworn I've gotten at least a few of those. Um, maybe that was before they changed it to where kill streak kills didn't count. I'm not 100% sure, but 26 kill streaks my longest. I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten a nuclear yet. I'm gonna have to start going for that. Uh, let's all right. Let's let's take a look in detail on my weapons. So we got my K bar is my most used with 1800. Yeah, like I said, it's about 500 kills ahead of my next most, which is the OSA. Kind of surprised the OSA is number two. Um, I guess I do use that gun. It's kind of like the SMG of this game. It really acts more as an SMG than an AR. So I guess that's why it's high on the list. NV4, no surprise there. That's probably the best gun in the game. Uh, Karma 45 is my top SMG. Uh, that's about right. That's that gun's pretty good. Erad is my uh, rounds out my top five. So all these guns have you know pretty consistent KDs. Looking like the Erad actually 3.3 KD with the Erad. I, I should start using that gun more. I'm clearly uh, doing pretty good with it, and my accuracy with it is 29%, which is also pretty good. I think anything above like 25% accuracy is pretty good. So I'm pretty accurate in this game. Pretty happy about that. Um, looks like some of these other guns. I have like a 30% accuracy with the Volk. That's pretty good. Uh, we got a 50% accuracy with the Longbow, which is the sniper rifle. That's my sixth most used gun. I'm going to try to grind out a little bit more Longbow gameplay and try to get that in my top five because uh, I love sniping in this game. So I'm going to try to do that a little bit more. Normally, I just snipe on like a couple of maps. So I'll probably just start sniping on every map and uh, get that get those kills up. But let's see. Any other notable things here? Um, I've used most of the guns in this game to, the, to a certain extent. Obviously, there's not a ton of kills on here, but, you know, a respectable amount. I got to use a little bit more Widowmaker. I haven't really been using that too much. And uh, only a couple of guns with no kills at all. DM, I don't have the Hornet unlocked, so I can't get any kills with that. Uh, I've, I've never even used the DMR1. I'm going to have to give it a try. M1, again, I don't have it unlocked, so can't use that. I have four kills with the Intervention, which I don't have unlocked. So I guess I picked it up a couple of times. But um, yeah, look, I actually, I guess I picked it up once because I have a 4.0 KD with it and four kills. So pretty good. Picked it up and uh, did pretty good with it, but... Um, that's my that's my weapons. Let's take a look at my rig. Synaptic number one. Nothing too surprising here. I got the skinny bot as my most used. That's kind of funny. Um, the skinny bot is kind of overpowered. It's actually banned from competitive. I don't even think you can use it in like GB ladders at all, um, which is you know says a lot because you know I think the OSA and the Synaptic are the two like major things that are banned. Um, so that's kind of interesting. 
Uh, we got the Merc, the Phantom, Warfighter, and then FTL is actually my uh, least used guy. I'm kind of surprised by that. I guess I really haven't used him at all. I haven't used the Eraser once. I have not used it once. I gotta give it a try then. I, I used it a ton in the beta. I think they nerfed it. This is why I haven't used it. But my KDs across the board here are pretty, you know, pretty even. I mean, the Phantom I have a 3.42 with, so maybe I should use him more. Pull out some active camo or something. And, uh, and give that a go. I've only used that 38 times. So once I get that unlocked, I'm probably going to use that a little bit more. But um, I don't really use Tacticals or Lethal, so we'll skip that. My most used streak is the Warden. Um, not too surprising there. That thing's pretty good, actually. It gets three kills per average, so it's not terrible. I wish they would buff it a little bit more. Um, the Apex, it says I've only used it twice. That is not true. I've used that thing at least 50 times. I don't know. That's, that's, that's wrong. Um, honestly, I've used it two times in the last day. So, I don't know, like, I'm not sure about that. That confuses me a little bit. But, uh, let's see, support streaks, advanced UAV, yeah, 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 whatever. So, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my combat record. Uh, I like the combat record interface in this game. I think it just came out today. Um, so that's pretty cool. Good to have the stats finally in the game. I wish it was in the game since the launch, but, uh, nothing we can do about it now. At least it's in the game now. And I have to admit, it was kind of interesting looking at my stats after there was already progression instead of like right from the beginning of the game. So I guess it was kind of interesting, but ultimately I think all the Call of Duty should have combat record from when they're released. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I just want to do a quick combat record video, just uh, taking a look at it for the first time. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. Peace out.